Hello there viewers, Sansa is here back with another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts episode and turns out while I was in the design screen the uh, pressing F10 sent me to the Otago class but yeah back to the here we've got the new battle cruiser hulls that I was trying to get last episode and so we can now finally make Arturo and Dominatos which I'm thinking for Arturo and Dominatos that we Hell the use. As this one. Stand at 37 knots. Yeah, just casually going up to 37 knots at top speed. I'll use this hull for Artero and Dominatos. So, this one doesn't fit, nor does that one. That one fits, no funnel fits in there. So maybe I want to go with a different tower that could actually fit a funnel in it. Like this one, for example. Let me move this slightly back. And no, uh, that can't even fit a funnel in it. Okay then. Those guys won't work for funnels. I will just go with the small one and then we'll just fit on at the end there and then just put this there, well actually I move that in like that and then that there gear turbines too if I reduce draughts Bit and beam a bit. Reduce beam and reduce draught. And yeah, we can then indeed fit it efficiency wise at 37 knots. Protection stuff for Artero and Dominatus in there. Crap, good. Range hiding gear is going to be Coincidence 5 because stereoscopic is um, not going to be used for this thing. Get off that. to twitch share in discord right main armor belt 14 inch belt with 4 inch fore and off same as the main deck and 2 inch fore and off there And then there is two, it's one, two, then put that at one, that at one. Thank you again, Memoro, for telling me about that. Well, indirectly telling me about that thing. Cutting tower is increased. Now, layout wise, all I'm certain of is that we are using 15 inch guns. For Artero and Dominatos, they're using 15 inch guns.
triples. Well, we've got advanced triples, so. Like, yeah, use triples and maybe we could do like a sort of better version of the class that everyone loves, the overpriced Deutschland. Yes, I still refer the um, good old um, Sean Ghosts as the overpriced Deutschland. Right. Maybe keep the usual cruiser four right four end and then what part of it I used in large there, so I'll use enlarged here. And 15 inch triples. There and there. Which should cover the main armament for the Artero Dominatos. Now, secondary armament wise, these guys are going to go a pretty basic. with uh, occasional three inch and extras like that. And then those there. Now three inch triples. There, there, there. There, 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 there. There. Maybe if I go two inch, would it fit? Yeah, two inch will fit there. Or two inch there. Two inch there. And then the three inch, see if I can fit it in this little pocket here with a good firing arc. Maybe if I go twin, I can fit in a better firing arc. Yep. Casemate guns are non-existent on this hull. Torpedoes are going to be existent here. They are going to be the... 22 inch torpedoes, TNT 3, Cordite 3, the only, the only Cordite I will properly use, standard ratio increased high explosive, Barbet 5, Standard crew quarters. These things are gonna be long range, so then they can actually. reach any sort of targets they would have probably encounter. Because these things. I'm wanting to try and make them as sustainable as possible just by themselves or, or with a long range fleet with them. Turbo electrics that gives them more of a range. So, yeah. That increases fuel efficiency. That 
doesn't change fuel efficiency. That's obviously increased fuel efficiency. Maybe a 13 inch main belt and 3 inch there, there, there. Okay, I've just noticed where we have a starboard weight offset. I'll get rid of that. Okay, that is the most forward that that gun can go to. Slight shift of the engines forward, and a slight shift of that forward. We're level. Now I just need to get the name. The entire I'm gonna put the class name as Artero Dominatus, and I'll just um, rename the first ship to Artero, and then the other one to Dominatus. Artero Dominatus, our new battle cruiser, which shall. Be the our equivalent of the Shanhurst twins. And they shall only go into combat together. They'll be built at the same shipyards, in slipways next to each other, they'll go into combat with each other, and they'll be retired together. And their retirement would be probably to the Department of Historical Ship Preservation because I can't be guaranteed that the same nation will take Artero and Dominatos. So, yeah. Artero and Dominatos are the first ships in a new long range fleet program which will mostly conclude of having to modernize older ships because you know I had a few billion in budget at the end of the last episode well that's changed a lot because of the time I passed forward and uh, we basically almost bankrupted ourselves and so I'm oh did I set auto I think I forgot the auto loaders oh god I'm gonna have to Hopefully sort that out with Artero Dominato Artero and Dominatos. Later. So yeah. This ship only has the name Artero. And this ship will have the Dominatos. Control V and then the Artero. Artero and Dominatos. Both of you will be in Tokyo. Tokyo. We 
research. Oh god. No. No, I don't want to redesign the Arteros. I'm still going to focus on big guns actually because I want to get better 12 inch guns so then I can refit the Chokais and our Otagos. The Chokais, the Otagos, and the older battle cruisers to follow along with our long range, long range conversion program. Oh yeah, our unrest had got up because I cancelled every single alliance. Yeah, we did briefly go to war with Germany because of the alliance triggerment, but we um, stopped that thanks to the peace treaty option at the very start if you've been forced into the war by alliances. Well, update with where I am the Pokemon series of watching. For those of you who've been keeping track of the random conversation things I've been saying, I am 20. on episode 27 right now. Only quite a few. over a thousand more to go. Uh. Policies. Us and the Soviets. I want to try and improve relations with the Soviets again. Advanced towers there. If I start focusing on armor quality as well, I can get a better crop, which then would mean that I can... Update everything else. ships. So now station two. Egypt you're not getting. Right. So 
our next job then if they're not willing to improve relations is America increase the tension between our nations building new ships yeah well they're building new ships I'm just getting the research to save my old ones <laughs> I just remembered something. You know those refits I did at the end of the last step? They didn't save. Oh god, I'm gonna have to refit everything from Shuri from like Shuri Armor and Oh god. Well, okay. I think the Shuri Armors will be fine for right now, but because because of the fact that they are not going to be replaced for a while, it's a similar fate with the older like with my light cruisers because I focus on capital ships. Yeah, the older light cruisers, the Yamatos, they're going to be um, updated. A teeny tiny bit. They're only just going to get the better mark, five inch guns. Oh, hold on a sec, because my dad's calling. Hey, Dad. Yes, I'm back home now. I have returned from the conversation with my father, with my dad, so yeah, we can now begin the refitting of the fleet for long range operations, which may actually potentially mean that the Yamatos will have to get a bit 
sidetracked on their service if I can't get the range I need out of them. I can. I think so, anyway. Two thousand four hundred eighty three miles. Uh, okay. I honestly don't know if the range we have on the ships are going to cover it. Going to cover what we can, what we want out of them. thinking maybe if I increase our number of funnels I can increase our range further that way Yamato's updated for modern combat. And we're going to get new destroyers because the cures, they probably aren't going to make it these days. We're better off just going with the modern destroyers. These things are going to be tall, but then the tallness gives them more range. Oil to... Best fuel efficiency you got. 36 knots. Like if I could sort out my light ships now and then I'll wait on the capital ships. I missed titling there. I think I'll go with Modern Tower 4. Superimposed guns are going to be singles. We're sort of Italian, Italian battleshipping our turrets a bit, but. So what? I'm still a rock star. I'm not really much of a rock star. Could 
Instance 5, Sonar, Audio. Ammo for the torpedoes is reduced. There, there, that, that. Mine laying capabilities are removed. Then the mummies are completed. Which they will replace the cures, which will be as of immediately put onto mothball. Where in their mothballing, they will uh, make their ways into the navies of other nations. Of which we are allied with. Down, 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 down. Oh god, I've just realised something. My socks have got holes in them. <laughs> not... And not the one that's meant to be there so you can put your... Put your foot inside of them. Okay. Loading the world, loading the world. Parent of murder. American ships in this game. That's who my next intended target is, by the way, the Americans. I want to do everything possible to avoid a war with the Soviets. Again. Well, taking the Russian Far East may actually be a good strategic option for us. Essentially make it that the only two nations that can inexpensively, because they have resupply ports, attackers would be um, the Americans themselves with um, some of their Pacific stuff and then um, Let's get 50 of the new destroyers, and then the old ones. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do this, remove that. I'm gonna have to do this with all of them. You know what, I'm going to, just for my sanity, not do all of them. Ah, uh, the Heligland Defense Source Destroyers. Yeah, it's just unfortunate they're being replaced. <laughs> As the Heligoland Defense Destroyers, they've actually done really well. Believe it or not. Well, yes, yeah, sending quite a few... Um, what were perfectly good enemy ships to the bottom <laughs> of the sea.
Yeah, the other Heligoland Defense Source ship is going to go to there, and then the rest of you, Department of Historical Ship Preservation. Okay, we're all unlimited on the ship stuff, but we're still 211 million in deficit. Right, I'm going to have to cut the port constructions. Soviet Union improve relations. Cut the construction of the port. That would um, increase our budget slightly. You know what? Fujai and... The Fujai is going to a museum. Well, actually, no, it's being converted to the Admiral's private yacht. And then the sister ships go into the Department of Historical Ship Preservation. And we get rid of the class entirely. Shukais and the Targos are doing fine. Terra and Dominatos are being built up. One, two, three, four, ten. We'll only build forty of the destroyers as well. That should reduce the budgetary loss somewhat. But yeah, I need to reduce unrest while increasing tension with the Americans. So, if an improvement of relations with the Soviets helps, as it works, then I can most likely pursue friendly relations, well, enemy relations with the Americans and just hope that the Soviets are still up for um, increasing their good relations with me. And Germany. And Italy. Oh, Italy and Germany are both at war again. Allies to enemies, I see. Okay, I'm back with some food to keep me going. Refuse, that reduces unrest. Reduce unrest even more. Take the destroyers. Go ahead. That at 
11 inch guns. We don't have ships that use 11s. Finances is still run. A bit dicey right now. Okay. United States increased tensions. <coughs> Okay, so, yeah, we increase tensions with the Americans, then we can more and more likely get the war we want, and then we can finally get the Philippines, a plan I've had since 1912, and it's taken uh, <laughs> 10... 15 years, more than that, to finally bring into fruition. And multiple wars where we've been allied with my most hated enemy. We've got a viewer. Welcome. If you do want to chat, you can as follower only chat is turned off. I should really pin that message. I'll do that quickly. the stream and oil's been discovered somewhere no we're not sending out any more venties yep take the old straws good thank you you're saving my budget thank you Okay, another turn, and then we get better 11-inch guns. Which, I don't want better 11s, I want better 12s. Because that's what the Chakais and Otagos use. funny that my battle cruiser fleet really consists of nearing twen nearing um, 20 year old designs <laughs> that um, work with a crazy idea of cute and national awning a key turret with in echelon, in echelon wings. Wings. Oh, God. Find it hard to pronounce the stuff today.
Yeah, take the older destroyers. As I said, save my budget. Take the older destroyers, I beg of you. Right. What will also be a save my budget. Reducing these a bit. And increasing that exponentially. And that hasn't saved the budget. Well, uh, partially has, but then again, we've just, um, we've just completed the refit of the Yamato, so. That was where most of our money was dumped at, is, um, was refitting the Yamato class light cruisers. And I'm not dumping any more budget into those things. Those things have had their last refit of their service lives. The Chokais slash Otago subclass of the Chokais. I'll pour my money into them any day. The Deku, Shuriyamas and others as well. Proven by the extensive modification that Rako had recently. Uh, well two years ago about that in game time. But yeah, it's refitting extra range onto those ships that's going to be a major problem here. Oh no. Policies. Soviet Union. Improve relations, please. Is the entire fleet still unlimited? Ah, uh, the building ships aren't unlimited. Okay. All ships still around go to limited. Yeah, we no longer have to deal with the old destroyer. Most of the old destroyers. I need to check how Artero and Dominatos are doing on their building. Like how long they have left. Oh, uh, construction time. Shouldn't be long, right? Right. Checks and finds it takes 10 years to build them. Oh, if it were that, I would. Oh, just, ima just imagine if. Um, you built the ship that was super modern and you were very advanced on tech, but then didn't have the budget to build it and that it takes 10 years to construct it. By that point, it's obviously outdated and you might as well have not continued the construction.
Italians have got new ships. Tis the season to build new ships. <laughs> construction stuff really. In ship design, the cure class yeah, you know more. It was nice having you, but yeah, you um, outlived your usefulness to the Navy. A new year appears and next turn our building destroyers would be finished their construction. Which means then as well we would have um, destroyers capable of long range operations if required. ships being built. Take it. Finances, 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 finances. Research is your budget is being cut. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, all mothballed ships. Are... Damn it, I'll tear on Dominatos. You're 18 months away, but I'm going to have to suspend you two right now. Yeah, I know we're in negatives, but we have to save the Navy's budget.
faith is one of those things where it's not physical repression, it's spiritual repression. Understood, sir. Sorry, sir. We weren't meant to blow the Navy's budget, but, uh... The Soviet Union decided it was a great idea to, uh... Spark a war... Well, almost spark a war with us. submarines yours truly is an idiot we can all agree to that great thank you <laughs> Briefly, just going into Monroe's stream and seeing how this is doing. Well, I've got nothing else to do but go through loaded screens. Screen is still. Oh. Nope. No, back to stream now because my stream because loading screen is finished. United States increase our tension with each other because the Americans they have the Philippines I've been once in the Philippines 16 years now in game time I've been once in the Philippines in game time for the amount of real life years I've been alive Well, give or take a few months. From when I made the decision that, yeah, I want to invade the Philippines. But yeah. We're now fully committed to our stream and I should have no more interruptions to anything I'm saying thanks to me having to eat food. <sighs> and the 
the Italian ships as well. Right. I want tensions with the Americans to go down, but I don't want Russian tensions to go up. Okay, improve relations with Russia while our tension increase with the Americans has happened. Which hopefully the improvement would reduce our unrest ever so slightly. Okay, so our new shipbuilding is occurring. I may have to unpin and repin the message. Well, actually, it's still pinned, so we should be fine. If any viewer comes in not by but wants to contribute something in chat. I'd still see it hopefully <laughs> if they don't then oh shit that's a problem <sighs> our relationship is better with the Soviets Right, let's worsen our relations with the Americans again. As that's the best thing to do right now when your um, newer ships and ships you should have been uh, refitted and stuff are still um, nowhere near complete for another war. I'm going to refit the Shuri armors now. This is going to be the best option in my inventory is to refit the Shuri armor class battleships. Shiri armor. The IJN Shiri armor. Named after 
one of the better Sabaton songs out out there for entertaining live show shenanigans. Where either Chris or Tommy always tackles York into the ground. And that's more of a Sabaton reference other than already having Artero and Dominatos being built. Artero Dominatos Berlin is burning Some of my incomplete Corsair model. What I've done so far on it, I've messed up horribly. Oh, the song 72 Seasons itself is being released by Metallica. Metallica fanboy here. <laughs> Nah. Nah, I'm a fan, but not like a massive super fan of theirs. I much more prefer Sabaton than I do Metallica. And honestly thinking as well, if I... If I'm gonna go with thrash metal, it would most likely be um, Megadeth. I'd listen to more than Metallica. Sorry, James and Co. But Dave, Dave Mustaine does it a lot better. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Anyone here who are Metallica fans, please. But yeah, Dave Mustaine does it a lot better. Yeah, maybe it's because as well, Megadeth had have lead guitarists who don't need to use guitar effects to make them sound good. <laughs> Kurt. Standard superimpose my part bet there. And then your twin fifteen fires over the top. And then Shuriyama had wing turrets, but these days it's they have been removed. These days it's just new engines and a shortening of the citadel. <laughs> a massive shortening of the citadel. Wrong thing was selected. Wrong thing was deleted. Yeah, sure you are, you're keeping your 4.2s. They're just being updated on the inside on the inside to the better mark. Just like your turrets are being updated to the better mark. Okay. 
So, my biggest thing is getting the range on this thing. Which, getting up the range will include having more to do with torpedo. Okay. 26 knots is going to be the Shiryama's new maximum speed. Maximum service speed. And then better stuff here as well. Takes up a lot of the remaining weight. Best stuff there. You've got good enough 15s now that I can say with certainty that you'll be safe with um, newer with um, stereoscopic instead of coincidence. Dominatos, Berlin is burning. And then what turrets remain would have had 0.5 inches of armor removed. The 4 inches get an inch of armor removed each. somehow beam reduction can be done to this thing without much problem increased our weight further. 51,000 mile operational range. That is more than enough. That's more than enough for Shuriyama. A 51,000 mile radius. That's Shuriyama done. The Yamato design there, which is the original design of the Yamato, is going goodbye. Oh yeah, Diluc. You need a bit of an upgrade. Standard barbettes? No, you're going with uh, enlarged superimposed barbettes. And same with the stern. Enlarged superimposed barbette. And then you are being down calibered, but. down calibered and down gunned, but. Should improve your usefulness to us because of the increase in. Well, the increase in mark of caliber of the guns should be useful to us. Now, in there we'll go three inch weaponry. Three inch weaponry is basically 
overtaken where the four inch was. Three inch? No, three point one inch. Better. Could that area fit three point ones? Yes, it can indeed fit three point ones. Triples, please, sir. And your remaining weight left is a good thing because you're gonna need that. Oh boy, you're gonna need that extra weight. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. They're following the rest of the fleet. We're going incendiary. Well, the rest of the fleet, the right, those are already at the best. That gets improved. That gets improved. That gets improved. That gets in. You know what? We're just gonna keep electrical. That gets removed, that gets improved, that gets de-improved, unimproved. The two inch guns are going to get in close range anyway, so. How about we have our own miniature sh Chicago pianos? Some may probably know what I mean by the Chicago pianos. For those of you unaware, they are basically um, anti-aircraft weaponry the Americans used before Bifurus. There we go. D look has been refitted for the new range over everything else. Deku. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to be refit. <laughs> Definitely. First scenes, we don't have any better. Four scenes, you're not needing gun replacements. Well done. Well, gun replacements in that sense. The four inch guns are okay. The four teens are already okay. Electro Hydro turrets is okay. Better shafts. Maximum on the range. Betterment to that. Anti Torpedo 3 should still be fine. Oh, Barbet Anti Flash will also be fine. Especially seeing as we're now fixing a minor issue I only just realised this class entirely. Oh my god. Oh my god, how do they last this long with all the horrible stuff I've done. You guys are using coincidence to reduce your weight a bit. 
that speed reduced down to 14. 5, 5, 5, 2.5. 2.5 1.5 that down to 14 as well 1 1 3 1 <coughs> How to remove a couple thousand tons? Easy. Replace some what old turret with a Q turret. Because we can fit a cube now in that placement. And reduce turret armor slightly. Nothing will go wrong. Flash words are famous last words. <laughs> if um, anything does go wrong, editing me in the very far future. Secondary <laughs> standard ratio there. Reduce that. Actually, I'm thinking now. Do that. Make this more of a standard battleship. And then just improve our four inch weaponry placement a bit. No, we're perfectly level like this. We've got good range. Yeah, the Deku design is okay. The Ventis. Now this is the design that's going to be changing the most. Wing turrets are gotten rid of entirely. I'm actually thinking, because we could have fit we could fit wing turrets there normally. Could we do sort of like Raku's um layout on the stern here. Right, I'm going to have to redesign this entire forward section of the ship. So about saving. I say we're f we're finally the Ventis alone. <laughs> AK, I don't want to risk any more uh, issues with the Ventis appearing.
Right. What the hell is going on here? Okay, so... This is going to be the end of the stream, viewers. I hope you enjoyed Silent Service Going Silent. Should be going silent. Did F10 not respond as intended again? Yeah, it has not responded.